Hey, welcome back. This is Dan Schubert Gothier. We're trying a new special segment this time between the first and second string. I'm here with Troy. Troy is one of our competitors that tried out for the show today in our tryouts before the actual match. He didn't make the show. Uh, it was his first time trying out with us, right, Troy? Yes. What did you hit? 58. You had a 58? That was your big string? Yes. That's awesome. So you're going to try out again with us later this season? Yes. Alright, Troy was a lucky uh, winner of a raffle we have. We're going to draw a name between the first and second string of all of our shows, and the winning contestant is going to get to bowl one box against me. The only rule is I get to throw one ball, he gets to throw three. If he can beat however many I knock down in the first ball, he'll get a $20 gift card. If he can tie or beat it in two balls, we'll give him 15 If he does it in three balls, we'll give him a $10 gift card. And if I beat him, even after three balls, we'll just give him a $5 gift card for trying. You just about ready, Troy? Yes. You want to let me go first and see what I get? What are you hoping I get? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Oh, that's going to be pressure. Let's see. All right, here we go. Never throw him the trolley, Come on, Troy! This is for a $20 gift card if he can knock down more than two. Oh, he crushes him! A $20 gift card for Troy. That was easy, huh? I'm going broke. <laughs> All right, we're back with game two. After one string, it's 75. Two. 72. 72. I couldn't see the scoreboard <laughs> with Bob Brown over there. He was hiding it with his belly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready to go, and Sage Johnson's going to lead us off. Here we go. Sage this is a nice Johnson. ball by Sage on the quarter bend. Age 11. She From has Salem, the full Mass. horseman left side. Salem, New Hampshire. Let's see what our girls can do here. Maybe we got a couple of marks. A double strike would put their name in for uh, that new set of bowling balls that Mr. Perella at Paramount Industries supplies every year. Nice set of bowling balls in a brand new bag. And there's a eight box by Sage. And Nicole will settle for a four. It was only a three pin difference. The winning team today will move on to the championship show. We'll have a lot of a lot of nice trophies to give away, as well as some more gift cards. That's a nice little break for Sage Johnson. She's only seven, huh? I thought she was a little older. A nice head pin old. hit by uh, Nicole. Tough shot, leaving the seven ten. The seven's still wiggling. See how she plays this. Oh, cause she. Oh. Hoping that ball would break a little more to the right for her. Nice ball by Sage Johnson. <laughs> Both girls have have really good form. There was an eight. Here, bowlers call over there from the audience. They wanted her to take it. Let's see here <laughs> on Sage uh, Sage Johnson's uh, sheet she filled out today. She says her favorite song is "I'm a Barbie Girl." Her favorite TV shows are Hannah Montana and iCarly. <laughs> Her favorite movie is Alvin and the Chipmunks. A fine movie. Her favorite food is Prime Rib. I'm with her on that. And her favorite bowler is her mom, Marion Johnson. Her other activities that she inv she's involved in is uh, cheerleading. Nice. Very nice. And Nicole. On Nicole sheet. Her favorite song is One Less Lonely Girl. I don't know that one. Favorite TV show is The Jonas. Favorite movie, Fast and the Furious. Favorite food is pizza. Yum. That would be my favorite. I like yeah. that. Hopefully we'll get some later. And her favorite bowler is Ed from Park Place Lanes. I wonder if that's Eddie Jerome, one of the bowling coaches over at Park Place. Yeah, I was hoping to be mentioned on a few of these for favorite bowlers, but after that, too, I don't, I don't know. I got some work cut <laughs> You better redeem yourself. And uh, Nicole's also involved in softball. Nicole going after the diamond, taking out two of the uh, two of the pins, leaving two. Sage takes a six, and after four frames, it's 27 for Sage Johnson and Dominic Catarello. It's 28 for Nicole Lavoy and Hunter Johnson. Wow, two pin difference. We only have a two pin difference, Dan. Matt's got right. close all of a sudden while we were chatting. Help 
And this is our fifth and final frame for the girls. And they must be a little slippery up there. They're both, both slipping a little bit at the end of their slides. As we said earlier, our winning team will receive a $40 gift card. It's a Visa Simon Mall gift card. It can be used anywhere. And our second place, our runner-up team, will receive a $25 gift card. So we, we normally give between four and five hundred dollars worth of prizes at every event that we host. And at the halfway point is 36-34 in this string for Johnson and Catarello. Uh, they got a two pin lead and a five pin lead overall in the match. Last five boxes. Is Dominic Catarello all over that headband again, Dan? He throws you know, a very nice ball. He's got that lefty smooth ball. It's like Jonathan Boudreaux. It's like looking back in time and seeing a seven right, year, seven right. years ago, Jonathan Boudreaux throwing it lefty and smooth. And oh, that one's going to drift off into the channel. So we got to subtract whatever's fallen, and it's only two. So he still has a chance to make an eight. Nice ball by Hunter Johnson, mm. trying to take out the one eight. Would have been a nice spare. And Dominic will settle for five. 41 through six. We could have a... Johnson lead, with a yeah. big 10, picks up four big pins there. Takes the lead in the string with 44. And then we're all tied up. All tied, yeah. It's an even match with four boxes remaining. We have Chris Winniars on camera today. Robbie Taylor is also working uh, some of the camera equipment. You'll see some of the different views and shots that he's going to provide us this year. And on scoreboard, we have the bowling coach from the Wuben Bowlerdrome, Bob Brown. Yay, also Bobby. president of the Massachusetts uh, Travel Ooh, look at this. Travel League Whoa. that the youth, uh, the youth bowlers bowl on. What a spare by Hunter Johnson. A veteran shot for the young man. Spectacular spare, Hunter's really. been with us many times in the past. I looked over at our replay booth, but they didn't get a good shot of that one, so. Dominic Cantarello took a six. He's at 47, three frames remaining. Hunter Johnson looking to load up that spare. Yep. The new bowlers. Nice ball. Four horsemen left side with the nine pin. There's oh, a nice ball by Hunter Johnson. Whoa, almost a strike. It's a big eight fill though. A real big eight fill. Big lead now. Dominic's pins. probably going to need a spare. He's still going to have a couple boxes left to do it. Hunter looking to make two in a row. Oh. <laughs> the ball off the top of the wood, off the cap. Ricocheted over to the right side and took out the tent pin. A great shot by Hunter Johnson. That was, that was a beautiful shot. We're going to go watch a replay of that shot for a minute in our replay booth with Rob Taylor. Thank you, Shu. Hunter Johnson facing the 7 10 split. We'll slow it down for you. Hunter caps the wood on the left and the ball takes out the 10. Back to you, Shu. Thanks, Rob. That was an awesome shot. Dominic Canarello, he had a 9 in that 8th frame. He's at 56. Chances are he may need two marks now with uh, Hunter Johnson really coming to life here with two consecutive spares. Filling the second one with two. He's at 74. But the lead, the lead is up to... It's a big lead now. 18, I think. It's up around 20 pins. It could be 20, yeah, 20 pins. Dominic's going to need a spare or a strike here. Probably going to need a double in the last box. That's a nice ball for Dominic. That's a right great there. out. Great out. Settles for nine. Nice, nice job by Dominic Catarello. Johnson taking a six. He's at 80 after nine. Dominic Catarello's at 65. We're in our final frame here of today's match. After this string, we're going to come back with the high low jack. It'll be worth another $20 gift card if our bowlers can complete it. We have a special prize for the first bowler this season who completes it. We're going to give him a nice uh, MP3 player with video. Should be nice. A tough ball by Catarello there. He'll look for, looking for another big out. Oh, do we have another spare? Look at this. Oh, that looked good. I'm surprised he didn't carry the third I'm, pin, I'm, the, uh, I'm the four shocked. pin. I thought Dan. the ten pin maybe would stay up. That was up, a great pocket I don't know hit. how the uh, four didn't go. Catarello finishing out. 
looks like a four. And Johnson with a nine. And we have our first team that'll be moving on to the championship show with Nicole Lavoy and Hunter Johnson winning today's match on scores of 72 and 89 for a 161. While Sage Johnson and Dominic Catarello are runners up today on games of 75 and 69 will settle for a 144 total. It was a 17 pin difference in the match. What a great job by our bowlers today nice ball, in our guys. first show of the season. We're going to take a break and we're going to come back with the high-low jack in just a few moments. So don't go away, 